Welcome to Voxel Pixel. In this video, we will be looking at columnar transposition cipher. Link to complete code will be on GitHub and linked in the video description. If you want the slide used in this video, you can find that on my Patreon. Its link is in the video description. Let's look at encryption first. For this tutorial, let's pick a keyword potato. Next, we will arrange our keywords individual characters into columns. Each column will have an individual character of the keyword. First is the P, then comes O, then T, then A, then T, then last character O. Next, we assign numbers to letters of keyword in alphabetic order. Number assignment can be achieved by this code. Since A is the first letter in the alphabet, we will assign it number 1. Looking at the keyword, we can see that letter O appears twice. So we will assign it numbers from left to right. First occurrence of O will be given number 2 and second will be given number 3. P will be assigned number 4, first T will be assigned number 5 and second T will be assigned number 6. Next, we will check if our plain text fits perfectly into a grid. We will calculate grid size in the next step, but here, to check if our plain text will fit into the grid, we will take modulus between length of the message and keyword length. Our modulus returns 0, then it will fit perfectly. Otherwise, we will append extra dummy characters at the end of the message. We will determine size of the grid. For that we will first calculate the number of rows and that we can obtain that by length of the message divided by length of the keyword. Next we will write our plain text into the grid letter by letter. Since first letter is the I we will put it first then followed by L then I then K and then E. We will keep on adding our entire plain text message into the grid letter by letter until entire grid is filled. As you can see, there are still empty places inside the grid, so we will add dummy characters. We will find location of numbers according to the keyword, like what's the location of number 1, number 2, number 3 and up to the last number. Encryption process will begin by taking each letter from the column starting from column number 1. Here the letters are K, T, C, H, T and dot. We will write all of them next to each other as you can see on the left side next to ciphertext. Next we will move on to the column number 2 and write its letters. We will keep on doing this till we reach the last column and we have obtained our ciphertext. Now let's check out decryption process. We will determine size of the grid. For that we will first calculate the number of rows and that we can obtain that by length of the message divided by length of the keyword. Next we will get the location of numbers based on the keyword as we did in encryption. Now we will begin by column number 1 and putting cipher text into the columns one by one. Under number 1 first letter K followed by a T, then C, H, T and dot. the number all the O's are filled. Next we will move on to the column number 2 and we will put next letter. We will keep on doing this until entire grid is filled with the ciphertext. Next we will extract the plain text from the grid. To do that we will extract each row one by one. First we extract the first row, then second, then third, then fourth and fifth, then last sixth row. So now let's look at this in an IDE.
complete code is on github you can find the link in the description along with my patreon link